where we want to share a tip with you. So these boxes, these bandsaw boxes, if you've been following us, uh, you know that we have been working on a set for a customer. So we have five of these guys ready. And this morning I sent a picture of this box to the customer. I said, so how do you like it? The reply I got back was, can you make the handle out of the same wood you made the box? So I, I assumed that this was just awesome looking. But uh, that's beauty in my eyes. So I said, he said, will that be a problem? I said, done. 30 seconds later, the Lord gave me another God idea. Well, so here's, here's your predicament. If you've been working with wood long enough, you know that once you glue uh, wood to wood, it becomes one. The, the glue goes beneath the surface, and it really does a phenomenal job. Um, so then you're asking yourself, okay, uh, how do you get these off without damaging the surface? This is all finished product, by the way. Last thing I want to do is start tearing up the surface of this. Well, I could think of several ways of getting it off carefully, but why not cap it like a tooth? That's the idea. That's the God idea that came to me. And let me show, show you what I mean. So we put a router bit into the uh, router table. Never used this router bit before today. Um, and we basically made a cavity in the middle of the stock from, from here to here in the middle. Went over with the bandsaw, cut it out, and voila. This is in this rough state, but there you go. I can just cap it like a tooth. So now I can uh, shape this handle any way I want, you know. Probably going to go with the contour, what we're looking at here. But it was that easy. Don't, don't try to take wood off of wood when it's, when it's glued up. So I've got uh, three done. I have... Two more to go, and I thought I would show you how I do it. Well, I'll literally show you how I do it. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. So everything is really all set up. I have the depth set up and everything. Uh, so we're just going to take the stock and place it here. I apologize if I'm moving my head too much or not enough so you can see what I'm saying. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, trace out the handle. So now we know how deep I need to go. Where I'm going to start and where I'm going to stop. And let's go ahead and do this thing. I am going to put on my ear protection, which is here. This is loud.
All right, my friends, how hard was that? Let's finish the job. All right, there you go. I've got uh, one more to go. And there's your tip of the day. Don't panic. Ask God, he'll tell you what to do. Thanks for watching SC Custom Sign. If you like what you're viewing, please subscribe to our channel, our YouTube channel. We have a challenge from YouTube to get to 1,000 subscribers. We're at about 88 at the moment. And we really appreciate you subscribers that are uh, jumping on board with SC Custom Designs. Thanks and God bless. Have a great day.